trail for downtown, halfway between the half of lane and the goal. Ball with them very quickly, and that could be a free kick, and we could have trouble here because it looked like a clash of heads or a clash of head and an elbow. No intent by the keeper. McCarran was going for that ball, but unfortunately, the Seems a little bit groggy. Good. One minute gone, and I think that's the quickest red card that I've seen out here. And tough one on the young girl like that, but unfortunately that's the way it is, and she gets a, a steady round of applause. Although the stadium, uh, stadium announcer said. Paula McGorry, you can see she came off there. Keeper got a red card, so they had to bring somebody off to put on the second keeper. That long girl just does not look happy. Malloy comes inside, finds the new sign in Emily. Emily Burke, number 18 at Lone Town. Good bit of battling in midfield there. All the way back to Shine. Shine goes out for her right full. That's her, that's her head up a little bit. Yeah, Plays good one two with one Kelly two. Brennan in the box yeah, now. The can box she get the cross in? She goes oh, for the shot and Roshi Malloy taps it into an empty net. Hard luck keeper. Very difficult one for her to hold there. Um, you just see it again here. It's a good one two here with Kelly Brennan. Yeah. With Maddie, Madison Gibson. And Kelly gets the head up. Good shot. shot. Good save. You'd expect the keeper probably just to do a little bit better than that. Push it out of the danger zone. Tommy Hewitt won't be too happy with that. Now left footed from this side will be going back out towards the penalty spot where at Lone have three or possibly uh, four players now. But another decent corner, in. not that much pace on That's it. That's in, Brenda Beaky. Yeah. Uh, well done. Well done, and she's delighted. Her debut goal for at Lone, and you can see what it means to them. As we're all delighted, but she is really delighted. Goal for Lone Town, number 16, Brenda Beaky Cowley. Kaylee Shine with the flick on. Flick on, yeah, and she done really well. And it makes its way out to Kelly Brennan, who goes forward looking for Roshi Malloy, but just doesn't make it. Well defended again. Harris Larry really does well. Brenda yeah. prefers it on her right foot, gives it out yeah. to Gibson, wasn't, just wasn't a little the bit best behind. Pass in the world, no, because it was behind her, and Maddie Madison. had to come back for it, so she goes flying. She takes on but Leah Kelly. Nice and gets the cross up. in for Roshi oh, Malloy yeah. and a brilliant header. Ah, that's super, super cross and in fairness she yeah, Gibson Madison Gibson. That, she, she has that in her locker, that's a great cross, great header. Oh, oh, in, no oh, keeper was oh, oh, That's Roshi in second of the game. And I only read during the week that Maddie was the top assist provider in the league. And here she comes up, trumps again, we'll just see it again here. Yeah. It there now. Just see, she takes yeah. on Leah Kelly and drills Super the ball cross. across, and it's yeah. the easiest of headers for Roshi yeah. Malloy. Probably one of her easiest goals she's going to get. Yeah, we'll it. It's, uh, Jody Lockery. Jody Lockery, yeah, well defended. Break the ball clear. And again, Rossman is in the right place at the right time. Her positioning has been very good, and it's low and spread it out again. And Brennan takes it down along. That's another good ball to Malloy. Malloy looks to turn the. the the defender inside out, she does, pulls it back onto the penalty spot. Oh, oh. Brilliant finish by now, that is, Perry Brown. That is a super finish and well, well worth it. Um, Loy was, again, very, very good there, David. She goes oh, down. Oh, 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 Perry Brown! Turned the left full inside out twice. Got a beautiful cross onto the penalty area. And Brown dispatched it really well. Nothing the keeper could do about that one either. Uh, Roshin Malloy now with two goals and assist to her name as well. We'll just watch the replay here. To see Roshin does missed, really well. The, the left full pulls it back on onto right the penalty in, spot. Nah, it, and that's the ball. That is the ball. Right onto the penalty spot. Very hard to defend them. Off the long one. Another good clearance kick by the keeper and a dicey bounce. Shammer, uh, Sliger Rovers on this ball. She looks up, adds a one back. No, nothing more than deserved from the, fir sec uh, from the first half performance. First, first time that it long got caught out in the middle, the ball bounced over. Two at lone players. Thank 
Terry Shane do a bit of work. Low and break down. That's a great super ball. Can we get a touch here? Here's a. Oh, oh had another great it. save. And again. Here's a. Can she find. The fire side, yeah, she finds Ke Kelly Brennan. One. Kelly pushes in front of her. Oh, penalty. Yeah, yeah. penalty. Yeah. Jesse Rossman with the penalty. And in fairness, with the penalty shootouts we saw last year, Jesse can hit them. That's and a good she ball. does really well. She tends to keep it the wrong way. Tipo was never getting that one. A little bit like Man City and Man United well, we'll today. Number five, Jesse Rossman! Well done, Jesse Rossman. Who's another one that'll be contender for player of the... Uh, we wish our best for Bonnie McKiernan and Absolutely. for Casey Howe. Both of them received a head injury earlier and both of them have gone to hospital. So we wish the girls the best. Good ball There's forward, Hazel. Ball. Can she get her chance this time? Oh, ah, another good save. Another great save. Oh, God, I would love to give it to a Sligo player, but I wouldn't be allowed. That's a super save. Super save. Well done, Amber. Definitely. Hazel could have had a hat trick, yeah. but look at that's it here. Thanks very much, everyone, for listening. I'll be back here on Monday night to see at Lone Town Men's Senior play Wexford. We just have a look around. at the table here, David, before we yeah. go. If you're around, um, tune in to us. At Lone, our joint top with Shelburne, and it's on. It's at using goal difference at the minute, but it's currently um, head to head is what's used first, and it was a draw. Or no, Shelburne won. So Atlone would have to beat Shells in two weeks' time to go back top of the league.